Hey guys, what's up? Long time no see. Um, just quick, let you guys know, I've actually been sick over the past couple days, that's why I haven't made any videos, so I'm making one now for you guys, so be happy. Um, I have a review to do for you guys today, October, Tuesday, October 13th, 2009. Um, of some GoGo USA cases from GoGo USA, uh, this time not Accessory Geeks, uh, for the iPod Touch 2G. But before I go ahead and get into that, I want to give a quick shout out to Jay Goody 1994. Uh, Jay Goody 1994. Go ahead and check him out. His link will be over there. Um, he has some pretty cool reviews, videos, um, and I also believe he has a giveaway going on right now on a eye skin case. So go ahead and check it out. Link once again is over there in the video description, along with my Twitter and all the other links you will need. Um, for this video and everything else. So, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get straight into this. Alright, guys, so like I said, I have two reviews, basically in the same video of two cases, two for you guys, of uh, GoGo USA cases. Um, that GoGo USA was nice enough to send to me. Uh, send to me. You guys may have noticed that a little while back I did, um, I think it was like last week or two weeks ago, I did a GoGo USA case review from Accessory Geeks, but these two cases are much different, so I'm going to go ahead and do these now. Um, they also sent me a little pamphlet if you guys are interested. If you guys have an iPhone 3G um, or an iPhone 3GS, they have some really nice cases for the iPhone. Um, really nice cases. Going to flip this over. They have a lot of cases that you guys can go ahead and check out for the iPhone um, and the iPod Touch. If you're interested in anything you see in this video, go ahead and feel free to visit their website at gogousa.com. Any other information you guys need, right there. Um, okay, so I'll put that off to a lay side. Um, so, like I had said, I have two cases here. Both of them are for the iPod Touch 2G. So, let's go ahead and open up this one first. Uh, this one right here, it says Travel to the Moon. That's a case that this one is. Uh, it's more of a Halloween-themed case. You guys can probably tell. Um, the little witch on the broomstick in the moon, obviously, travel to the moon. Um, so it's a per pretty perfect case for this time of year, being uh, October, being around Halloween almost. Um, just like with the other GoGo -Go case, you guys can see that it is very, very thin. So it's not going to add much bulk to your iPhone or iPod Touch whatsoever. Um, it's just going to give you some nice good scratch and minor drop protection. Um, it will bend just a little bit if you need to get it out or get it in the case. So, on the inside, you guys can see where it says GoGo, -Go, and then their little website right there, made in Korea as well. Um, it may seem like there are two ridges that run along here. There aren't really, like, things that stick out. They're more of, like, indents that are there to almost help guide your iPod in there. Um, that's what I like to think them as, if not it's just the way they design them. But, I like to, it helps you kind of, like, guide your iPod when you lay it down to know where you have it in there. So, I have my iPod Touch 2G right here. I'm going to go ahead. What I like to do with these cases, I put the volume rocker side in first. That way you don't risk anything. So, that's what I recommend to you guys as well. So, take the volume rocker. Make sure you're lined up on the other side. Go ahead. Very simply. Boom. Snap it in. You'll see it pretty much just like eat your iPod's bezel, uh, which is a good thing. doesn't scratch it. Don't worry. But then, once you have the case on there, you have a very small case on there. You don't really have to worry about any bulk whatsoever. Let's see if I can get this to focus. It's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in for you guys. So you guys can hopefully see here in about a second when it focuses that um, there's barely any bulk whatsoever added to your iPhone or iPod Touch. You can see the power button is fully exposed. You can easily use that all around the side. This side, you don't have to worry about anything. The bottom, perfectly cut out for your volume, uh, for, excuse me, for your speakers um, and your dock along with the headphone jack right down there at the bottom. Um, along on this side, you have the volume rockers, which I still find a little bit of a problem with the iPod Touch cases that GoGo USA makes, is that they're actually really close to this top bar right up here. So it is a little bit harder to get to. Uh, if you look in the pamphlet, they show the iPhone 3G ones where they're a little bit more spaced farther apart. Um, so it'd be a little bit easier to access those. But maybe that's something GoGo USA can work on, maybe if they're watching this video. Um, maybe just try to move that or make that a little bit thinner, or somehow get the volume rocker spaced a little bit more. I know with the iPod Touch 2G um, that you can't really do much about that because they're so close to the top of that and that's all the space you have. But maybe anything minor that you can make, maybe make it a little bit easier, that'd be pretty neat. But nothing huge, nothing that will totally um, make me not purchase one of these cases or make me not go towards one of these cases. Because I do have the headphones that with the little click on it, change the volume, so I use that majority of the time. But if you just 
come back here with maybe your left hand and angle your thumb a little bit different. You can access them. I'm not really going to show, but I have to double click. There we go. You can see it will be able to access it. Um, like I said, power button, very easy to access. Nothing on your screen is blocked whatsoever. Um, I have a different screen protector on here. That's why my iPod may look a little bit different. Um, but as you can see, it is a very nice um, finish to the case. If you guys can see that. Uh, this case tends to have a little bit of a matte finish, which I like very much. It's very smooth. Hopefully you guys can hear that. It's a very smooth case. Very neat design printed out on the back. Travel to the moon. Um, great for this time of year. And there goes my phone. Very neat case for this time of year, guys. Um, so let me go ahead and just snap this out of here. Very simple. You can take one of the corners, just snap it out, and it'll fly right out. Let me go ahead and throw on the other case for you guys very quickly. See if I can set that up there. Yeah, we'll see that when we zoom back out. Um, this other case over here is also for the iPod Touch 2G, but the cool thing about this case is that it's hand painted, which means somebody actually took the time to make the designs on this specific case. Um, like I'm going to say many times, not very much my style of case, not something I would rock every day. Um, maybe something I would give to somebody or my sister or something, something like that to use on their iPod. Or maybe I'll do a giveaway on this. I don't know. But it's a very nice case. Let me go ahead and zoom in for you guys here. Um, re disregarding all the uh, fingerprints and everything. Let me see if I can just give it a quick wipe down with my thumb. Um, disregarding any fingerprints or streaks you see. This is all hand painted. So you guys can tell. Let me see if it's better if I zoom in. Um, that I, There's a lot of detail in this case as I scroll down. Um, you guys can see that there's a butterfly on it. There are little hearts at the end of the butterfly. Very, very nicely done for whoever um, is doing these cases over there at Google USA. Um, very nice artwork that they put on the back of these cases. This one has a black finish on the back, but it's not uh, matte finish. This one is actually more of a glossy finish to it, as you guys can see, which then makes it a fingerprint magnet. I'm trying to get you guys a nice little macro of that little butterfly right there. Um, so with this case, you are going to get loads of fingerprints on it on the outside, but not much to worry about because you're not going to be looking at the fingerprints. If you're interested, you're going to be looking at the neat design that they went ahead and threw on the back. So let me go and just put this in my iPod. Same way, just snap it in. I kind of like the black one a little bit more because it kind of blends it with the sleek design of the iPod itself. I kind of like that a little bit more than the white of the other case. But then what you have me on here, you have the same thing pretty much. I just want to show you guys on this on here. Um, they're both very nice cases. One of them, probably not something I would rock. I'm probably going to rock this for a little while, being it in the Halloween season. Um, but this I might do a giveaway on or give it to somebody. It's a very nice case, just not my style of case. Um, if you guys are looking for a quick case you need to throw on, need, just need to have something on your iPod for some cool protection, or maybe you want to have a neat design on your iPod, these are the cases you got to go ahead and check out at GoGoUSA's website, which is right there, GoGoUSA.com. Just like that, with a little hyphen in between. Um, these are very nice cases, guys. Would I purchase this one? Not so much. Would I purchase one like this or one you saw in the prior video? Yeah, I mean, it's something that you could definitely use to throw in your iPod, kind of like the Incipio Feather. If you just want to throw something really quickly in your iPod, there's something you go ahead and look out for. Um, that's basically it, guys. There's not much more to go in depth about these cases. I mean, they have a very nice design. There's nothing else I can really tell you about them. Um, put together very nicely, this just bendable enough so you can put your iPod in and out, not so much as it'll break, but great designs on these cases, good job Google -Go USA with the designing of these cases. Um, that's all I got for you guys in this video, thanks for watching, favorite, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will catch everybody in the next video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later, peace!